Are you asking yourself, why can't I find a godly man? It's a question many Christian single women are asking themselves. It's a question that I asked myself back in my single days. Today, we're gonna explore three important truths that are gonna help you stay grounded, encouraged, and ready for the man that God has for you. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any content on faith, singleness, and living a purpose-filled life. Now let's get into the three things that you need to know while waiting for your godly man. So the first thing you need to remember is to get your eyes off the statistics and on to Jesus. He is not surprised by anything, guys. It's not like he's up in heaven going, Gabriel, what are we gonna do? Did you know there's more Christian single women than there are Christian single men? What about Sally? What's Sally gonna do? Listen, honey, he's got Sally covered and he's got you covered too. Get your eyes off the statistics. Get your eyes onto our all-powerful, all-knowing, loving, amazing God. He is sovereign. He is above it all and it is all on him. Have you ever thought that your future husband might not even be a Christian yet. He might not be saved. He may be going through things right now that are leading him to the Lord. Ladies, we have to rise up and be like Job in 42.2, where he says, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Be a faithful woman. Don't shrink back when the world hurls insults and makes you out to be a fool. Ugh, you're still counting on marriage? Don't you know that there's more single Christian men than there are single Christian males? God laughs at this and so should you. All you have to say is, but God, period. My God shall supply all my need. Yes, it is a challenge being single. I sympathize, believe me, I went through it, especially in today's day and age. But we have to get it so deep down in our spirit. Is our God big enough? Yes. Is our God strong enough? Yes. Is he able? Heck yes. You know, I'll get comments sometimes that are like, okay, Daniela, but God just can't create a fully grown Christian man for me and make him appear. And my first response to that is, uh, yeah, he can. He's God. If that's the way he wants to do it, he absolutely can. And second thing is, you know, I just feel so bad for that person because they have no faith. And the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God, Hebrews eleven six. I want you to be a woman of unwavering faith and trust in the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, amen? fully expecting to receive great gifts from our Father. Number two thing I want you to keep in mind is to speak life over your situation and not death. I see all these girls on TikTok and social media platforms saying, all the good men are taken. I'm never going to get married. There's no Christian men, none for me. And I think, what are you saying? Way to prophesy your future, honey. Proverbs 18, 21 says that the tongue has the power of life and death. And so the words that we speak are extremely powerful. With them, you're either coming into agreement with the devil or God. And so let me ask you right now, who are you coming into agreement with. Back in my single day, me and my friend would purposely go on little adventures. We wanted to take our minds off of being single and just have some fun, you know? And so sometimes we would drive like an hour away to go to lunch or sometimes we would go for a hike or to the zoo, whatever. So on these trips, we would talk about fun things that we would do with our husbands when they were finally in our lives. Things like having kids and traveling, trips we would take. We would talk about what personality type they might have or what they might look like. And it may sound silly, but what were we doing? We were exercising our faith and we were speaking life. We were calling those things that be not as though they were. There was never any doubt coming from our mouths. It was always when it happens. Never were we talking like, if it doesn't happen, then 
We chose to speak in faith, often praying for our future men on these trips too. And I can tell you, it is powerful, guys. Nothing is more powerful. The devil can't stand it because he loves to get you depressed. And what's going to make you depressed is siding with the world and doubting God. Speaking life creates this incredible atmosphere for the Lord to work. And I'm not talking about law of attraction. I'm not talking about manifestation. Heck no. I'm talking about the real powerhouse. Faith in our incredible God. Hot off association with these people that speak death. Shut off their social media feeds and immerse yourself in life and words of life. And finally, number three thing is wait for your man to pursue you in God's time. I know it's hard being single. I walked it. I met tons of men acting like boys, and this was in church, going out to the club still, getting drunk, having no relationship with the Lord and no leadership skills. Maybe you've encountered the same, but please do not settle. Do not let the enemy get in there and make you doubt the awesome plans that God has for your heart. And part of that plan is for you to be pursued like a princess. That is what you deserve. The man's God-given role is to initiate, and the woman's God-given role is to respond. I know that this is not the popular, liberated role that Hollywood likes to portray. So what does this look like? Does this mean that women are never supposed to ask a man on a first date? I think it does. Does this mean that you shouldn't tell your friend that you like a certain somebody so that she's going to blab it to him and then he might ask you out? I think it does. You do not need to nudge him and help him along. And this includes messaging first on dating apps as well. God is in control and he does not need your help. If it didn't work out with a particular guy because he didn't step up, don't worry about it. He wasn't the one for you. God is going to open the door for your person. He's going to work everything out, and he knows what is best for each of us. Please do not be that woman that rushes into a relationship because of worldly standards and impatience. I can tell you, it won't be worth it. Wait for your Boaz to pursue you like he did Ruth. Wait for your King Hahazarus to pursue you like he did Esther. Wait for your Hosea. Yes, he actually pursued a prostitute by God's divine leading and plan. So why can't you find a godly man? I can promise you it isn't because he isn't out there. It's because God is working everything out in his perfect timing. Keep your relationship with God first and let him lead your steps. And in his time, he will position you and your man will find you as he's supposed to. Believe me, your future husband is definitely worth the wait. See you in the next one, the lessons in love.